kicking off things with homecoming, which is coming up next week. The candidates got together for pictures yesterday, and the candidates are freshmen Presley Allen and Myla Scrimshire, sophomores Lily Knight and Luna Gomez, juniors Macy Dornan and Macy Manis, and for seniors, it's Heather Kirk and Sierra Amaro. And moving on to the dress up days, here are the themes for each day next week. Monday will be dress as a kid day, dress as your type day on Tuesday, Wednesday is color war day. Make sure to wear the color assigned to your class. Thursday is flip flop or mismatch day. And Friday is Aloha Barbie, where you can wear pink or something Hawaiian. As for the ceremonies, there will be a parade Thursday night that will start in the high school parking lot and end at the football field. After the parade, there will be mock homecoming at the field. Friday will be the big night with the ceremony being held at the football game against Chaffee. The next announcement is for seniors and sophomores. Jossens is going to be here during lunch on Monday to deliver packets for class rings and graduation items. Seniors, let your part-time friends know about this so they don't miss out. They will come back again on October 24th to take orders for both items. If you missed the first picture day, retakes are going to be November 6th. This is for all students, even if you aren't ordering any pictures. Congratulations to the students of the month for September. Their junior Connor Sisko, senior Kenzie Reedus, sophomore Caitlin Chipman, and freshman Credence Smith. Skills USA is kicking off their annual trailer raffle. The trailer is being built by the welding class and will be finished by the carpentry and auto mechanics class. It is a 16 foot trailer that is 76 inches wide, has teardrop fenders, and four foot channel ramps. Tickets are a dollar each or six for five dollars. The drawing will be December 13th. See any student who has a class at the Career Center to purchase your tickets. And speaking of the carpentry class, they finished a year-long project this week. Mr. March and his students put the finishing touches on the new building at the baseball field. It has a new concession stand, locker rooms, and space for our class to broadcast games from starting the spring. And that's all for news and announcements this week. Here's Peyton with your Week in Sports. Thanks. The volleyball team had two home games this week, starting with Popper Bluff on Monday. The Donuts hung tough with the Lady Mules, who had a significant height advantage, but ended up losing in three close sets. On Tuesday, Dexter came to town, and it was a back-and-forth match between the two teams. Kinsey Reedus picked up her 600th career kill in the third set, but Dexter went on to win that match in three sets as well. The team will take part in the Perryville tournament this weekend. The softball team only had one game, and that was at Naylor on Tuesday. The Donuts won that game by a score of 16 to nothing. They also have a tournament this weekend in Van Buren and then move on to the district tournament next week. And finally, the football team is on the road tonight and will play East Prairie at 7. That's all for sports this week. Here's your weekend weather forecast. Fall is finally going to arrive this weekend with much cooler temperatures. Check out the highs for tomorrow, which will stay in the low 60s under sunny skies. Sunday will warm up a little around 70 for the high and mostly sunny on Monday with a high of 72. That's our newscast for this week. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.